So apparently with the Mallard update to the Hunter Call of the Wild, it seems they made the Cape Buffalo significantly weaker uh, in terms of how the guns actually perform on them. So I want to try it out today. Uh, I wanted to wait until the patch officially came out with the kind of fix to the Mallards, and it seems like all is well from what I've kind of experimented with, but we're going to try some different guns. I've got the obvious ones first, the 470, uh, the 338, and the 7 mil. and then once we see how those do, we'll try some of the smaller calibers as well and see if they are actually viable. And I am actually doing my server hopping strat just to see if we can maybe get a rare buffalo. That's something I really, really want. But I get this a lot. We got a whole herd here. It says they are eating, but they are very clearly traveling. So we'll go 338 uh, if this guy will slow down again. I've not shot a buffalo with it ever. So I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen. Can you like slow down before you get down over the hill? Please. See if I can kind of alert him. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. Stop. Ah. Good enough. And it does. It drops him right away. So I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I quite enjoyed the challenge of dropping a buffalo and the fact that you had to be very, very accurate. But, I mean, it's definitely good for, like, newer players that don't have the larger weapons or especially people that don't have, say, the crossbow DLC because I felt like uh, the crossbow might have been the best weapon for it considering you get a little more range or at least consistent range than with the compound, but I, I'm i not sure. I do want to see how the other guns do, but I'm pretty confident the 7mm will be fine as well. No consec, but decent spine shot, 135, and that went like through the spine. And I think it's 5 penetration different uh, with the 7mm, so I think it'll be fine. And uh, once again, kind of the, what are you doing? That ain't right. But kind of the same thing. Like, I go to a location, and it says the buffalo are, like, at a zone. But they're always moving. But anyway, before he gets too far away, I do want to get that mythical with the 7mm, I suppose. I'd like to try the 470. Haven't tried that since the update, but, uh... I guess I'm gonna have to try to find buffalo that are actually, like, in a zone and not moving. Okay, he just stopped. And I think, yeah, that was a spine shot. Maybe lumbar? That was kind of far back. But that's interesting that it ran at all. I do want to see what happened. This was actually the one gun that I knew would work, or at least I assumed would work, because we had that going uh, with the video that I did with Zaggy. I was able to drop a couple of them using the 7 mil, but I wasn't sure if like the patch changed anything, and it certainly seems like it didn't. So that's interesting. It definitely seems as if they intentionally made the Cape Buffalo weaker. I don't recall that being in any of the patch notes. I don't know if you guys have seen it. And if you have, let me know. I'd love to uh, to see that it was, in, in fact, like announced and intentional. But definitely something has happened. Kind of sucks we're going to ruin a perfectly good mythical because we have no consec. But it's all kind of in the name of science. And he didn't look like a huge mythical. Yeah, he's lower end. Uh, 137 trophy, 788, and that was normal thoracic spine. That was 211 meters. It was further than I thought. But, uh, interesting. Still 100% quick kill. Very good to know. But yeah, I'm not too sure about the, uh, the 470, because the way these buffalo are tending to move and not stay still in a zone, it's not going to be much fun to get close. But then again, I'm not sure we really need to. Like, a, a double lung shot at range might actually be fine, so... That could be something to find out. I'm kind of interested to see how that goes, because if it goes well, then I might actually consider grabbing the Apex site, because I've been using just the open sites. They're more accurate for me, but the Apex over long range, especially if you're just going for double lung, would be rather okay, I think. And I guess that's just going to be life with a 470. Like, anywhere I go, all the buffalo kind of just leave, so we might as well try to hit him there. We're just zeroed for 150. That looks solid enough. That guy's just mad. Hears loud noise and starts running. I want to spot this other one, make sure he's not... Yeah, it's just a female. Is that... No, that wasn't the one that was charging. So, this will at least be a decent test of the penetration. Let's back up so I can kind of see. Hey, how's it going? That eh, seems like penetration might be pretty good. What do we get there? Because I don't think that was spine. Uh, lower neck. Maybe brain? Does it say brain? Doesn't look like it. Skull, lower neck, right lung, stomach. Not bad. 
Not bad at all. And then did we get the other one? We do actually have the hunting pressure now. And it was a vital hit. Oh, I have another not so happy sound of buffalo around here. So he shouldn't have gone far. Yeah, he's right there. Very low bleed rate. With a vital hit seems weird though. I don't see what this is. And like what actually happened. It was left lung. At 163 meters. I mean the penetration's well through the lung. I feel like maybe if I was like perfectly broadside on, that might have penetrated them both. I'm just surprised that no quick kill at all comes out of that single lung shot. That's interesting, but I mean we kind of saw what the 470 does. We'll come back to it again if we get the chance. Alright, so I just hopped on my own server just for the sake of like hopefully having Buffalo not forever migrating despite the fact that it says they're out of zone and I did actually spot a herd up here they are of course moving but it also doesn't say they're out of zone and I think I might know uh, where they're headed but I think both for the 470 and the 270 we're gonna have to be somewhat close range like for that to go well and the 243 I suppose because I just like the 7 mil at 211 meters the buffalo ran so the 270 it's gonna run close range we're gonna lose quick kill I think but I don't know how much but I definitely want to get good and close if I can Thing is, they are not too interested in going where I thought they were going to go. I'll leave them for now. There's a, a red one, I think. Yeah. I'll leave them for now because I think they are probably heading like up to one of these zones. My goodness, I have a lot here. Uh, and I'm going to check over here because if they're just sitting here, that would be nice. All right. So I'm pretty comfortable with this range. We just need to somewhat alert it because when we do that, it'll actually turn towards us. So I'll take any extra meters I can get. Just going to keep making sure I have it spotted so that I can see the moment it becomes attentive and know uh, that it's going to lay down in front of me. All right. Uh, and know that I need to get ready to shoot. I did not expect to be able to just sneak this close. Fair enough, then. Did they turn down their AI as well? Because this just seems bizarre. There's another one right there. Attentive now. But we're like way, way closer than I thought we'd get. But it should like phase us. There we go. That might have been low. No, I don't think it was. Hi, how you doing? Back off. Nope. Ah. Oh, I think it just died too because I had the confirmed trophy. If I could have survived another half a second. All right. Oh, we only did hit him once. Oh, wow. That's actually cool on multiple levels. First off, it was spine and left lung. Only 11 meters away. I'm sure that does play a factor. It does give 100% quick kill, and it happens to be a exactly 800 scoring buffalo. That's useful for the uh, spreadsheet in the Discord. And then the female didn't fare much better with what could have ended up being a very similar shot. I did hit rather low and could have clipped, say, the top of a lung or something, but I was kind of watching her percentage as I was getting charged by the male, and yeah, 26 meters away, 100% quick kill with a straight spine shot. That I did not expect. I did not think the 270 would be capable of getting 100% quick kill without, say, hitting like the perfect double spine, the thoracic and lumbar spine, or something like that, double neck bone. That's actually something I'm really going to look into a bit more because that could be a lot of fun. Maybe trying to get a diamond buffalo with a 270 could be a thing at some point. I'm kind of interested in trying the 270 like longer range shot. So if she is going to give us that kind of angle. Let's see what happens here. I think that's spine. Yeah, we definitely got it. Is that going to be 100%? Because that feels like very similar to the drop rate of a double lung uh, crossbow shot on a buffalo, which is somewhere like 96%. 100% at 139 meters. That's insane. I really did not expect that. That is just... And I, I don't think that has anything to do, like... If you could have gotten the spine, like say you got directly above and we're shooting down like this, like with the old 
uh, penetration, I think that would have been the same. I think you would have gotten 100%. I don't know, that could have been changed as well. But that's crazy. Like, the 243 might be viable too then. So I think the strategy here is going to be the same as the first close range shot with the uh, the 270. We're going to get in good and close. We're going to crouch up uh, and try to somewhat alert them so that they turn towards us. Although, I'm not sure. I think because of the water, we're going to end up somewhat behind them. Uh, and we'll have to do that, but I think that might be best. I don't know. I can't decide if, like, a broadside buffalo, if the 243 is going to penetrate or not. I think it will. It's worth trying, anyway. I got closer than I realized doing that. Is this the level 6? That's a 2, but honestly, I'm pretty okay with that. For the sake of science, I think I'll shoot the smaller one. So I'm going to crawl... I'm going to crawl under 20, I think. Just to try to get, like, the best chance of this working. So we're going to go another, like, half a meter. I hope I'll be able to see. I think I'll be able to if I crouch. All right. Yeah. This should be good. I feel like that was okay. Yeah, there is percentage drop. It's going to try to get this one. Just for funs. I don't even think I hit that second shot. Also, the other one just went down. I really can't see without that sight. That doesn't work. So that is probably low bleed rate. I think it's medium. Is it? Yeah. I would say that was spine then, certainly. But I do think we lost quick kill. Yeah, 52. I mean, that would stand to reason then that perfect double spine shot, which would be tough, might actually get 100%. That could be interesting. Oh, that other one actually did die as well. I wonder where I hit it. This is low bleed rate, so probably intestines. So just for the sake of actually knowing, that was a right lung shot. Got a low bleed rate. Interesting. Very interesting. Did not expect that. Barely clipped it as well. Oh. I got a mission. Cool. But I think that is going to do it for our buffalo testing video. I am in shock at that 270. I definitely want to do a like buffalo 270 hunt at some point. And I also want to come back and give that 243 a solid chance of getting 100% quick kill. Because the way the 270 performed, and given that 52% quick kill with the just thoracic spine shot, I kind of think it might be possible. I really think it might have a chance of getting 100%. So that's something I want to try. But anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out today. It has been a blast. I've certainly learned a lot. Hopefully you have too. And I will see you next time.